guys, so today I have my October favorites for you and they're a little bit belated, um, but I thought better late than never. I love filming my favorites videos. It has been a really long time since I've missed one. I don't think I've missed a year or a year. I don't think I've missed a month in this last year. So you guys know I love to share what I am loving at the moment with you guys and so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to start off with my major lifestyle favorite, then we will talk about fashion and beauty and everything in between. I just put on my red lipstick so I had to chill out, but I actually have my tea today in this really cool tumbler that was sent to me by my friends over at Your Tea when they sent me a new tea to try. And if you do not already know, Your Tea is a tea company. They have different teas. There's like a fertility tea that I know is really good for people who have like ovarian cysts and stuff like that. There is a tiny tea that's really good for weight loss and stuff. But they actually sent me the Skin Magic Tea and it could not have been at a better time. If you guys have been watching the vlog channel, my vlogs are pretty backdated. I think that the one that I just put up this past week was from like the beginning of October my skin was in a really really bad place like my skin had not been that bad in such a long time but I was breaking out my skin was dry and dehydrated and it did not look good so I decided to give this a pretty good go especially since my skin was in such a bad place and I have a lot of really good things to say about it the tea does nourish the body internally so that your skin kind of heals externally and a really great thing about this is that I do definitely notice a difference when I drink it I have been drinking it twice a day. The nutrients are best consumed 30 minutes before or after your meals, give or take. If you can't do it within that time frame, that's fine. I did it a few times well after I'd had dinner, but it is really good when you are consuming something like this for the sole benefit of kind of nourishing your skin or your body to do it with a meal because then the body absorbs it a little bit easier. Your skin is a lot healthier when you hydrate from within. So when you drink an appropriate amount of water, your skin always looks more glowy. You get less breakouts you're just more hydrated. And the same sort of benefits kind of come into play with this. It doesn't just treat acne, it also treats dry skin, as I mentioned, or really dehydrated skin. I felt like it combated my hormonal acne and my acne that was just from not taking off my makeup properly, as well as really helping to hydrate my skin and just get it back into a good place. I think it can also help with psoriasis um, and a bunch of other like skin issues. It's just really good if you need to kind of balance yourself out. I personally know noticed a huge, huge difference this month to the point where I feel comfortable enough like showing you a before and an after with this being the only real change in any sort of skincare that I was using. So I wasn't using any new products whatsoever. It was all my old current skincare that I was using while I was still breaking out but this kind of went into the body and nourished it from within. So I'm just going to show you a little before and an after. I feel really confident saying that it helped with my skin. I'm really excited to be able to even talk about something like this because I don't know, it's just, I've never used a product that was specifically made to um, kind of combat skin issues from the inside. It wasn't like a drug, you know what I mean? Like I've used specific acne drugs and they're scary. Like the side effects are scary and I would never come on to YouTube and talk about a pill that I was taking or anything. But tea is obviously a lot more natural. There's no chemicals in this, there's no side effects. If anything, I just noticed an overall benefit in getting into a routine drinking this. When my cramps started, like it's not obviously meant for cramps, but having something nice and warm really does help. I just felt like kind of getting into a routine with this did help for me personally and I really did enjoy it. You get 60 tea bags in this little box and I will have a link and a coupon code for you guys down below. I think I have a 10% off deal for you. If you're experiencing some issues with your skin, whether it's dryness or acne or whatever it might be, if you just feel like you need a good hard reset, I cannot recommend this highly enough. Obviously, you always want to consult a doctor before trying anything new for your skincare or anything, but this is just an herbal tea. So for me, I really enjoyed it. I hope that you guys check it out as well. And yeah, that was a huge period I really, really wanted to talk about. It kind of changed a lot of things in my skincare this month and just made me a much happier person because when my skin looks good, I, I just feel good, man. So now I'm going to talk about my fashion, my beauty favorites. So both of my fashion favorites I have not shown on this channel previously. I noticed really recently I've been buying things and not hauling them and I hate when I do that. I don't know why. I just always like to show you guys my clothes because I feel like it gives you a really good like solid foundation of understanding where my closet starts and then seeing how I style those things in lookbooks. But if you follow my vlogs, I did show this in a recent vlog. This is a cable knit sweater from Hollister. 
I can't get enough of it. It is this boxy like cable knit sweater and I think I got this for maybe $26 on sale and it is one of the nicest sweaters that I own. It's warm without being too much. I wore it in New York and it was kind of warm this past week when I was in New York. I felt like it wasn't too much but it still gave me a very like cozy fall vibe I love so much. So I highly, highly recommend this. The other thing I wanted to mention is from Boohoo.com, who I did work with on a video at one point, but I have bought their stuff for several months now and continue to do so. This is from their straight size line and it's just this really pretty wrap top like so. It has beautiful, beautiful sleeves. It's like a jersey knit. It clenches in, or clenches in, <laughs> it cinches in at the waist and then just flows out. And I like to wear this over leggings because it is quite short, but it's just a little wrap dress top thing. I would call this more of like a tunic on me just because the length is quite short, but yeah, I really, really like it and I love the color of it so much. I'm going to be showing both this and the sweater I showed previously in a little like outfits of the week video, so stay tuned for that. Let's talk makeup because I feel like we haven't talked makeup in a really freaking long time. I don't have too many makeup favorites. I have a video that is either already up or is coming very soon called my fall makeup video and I showed a lot of my current favorites in that or things that I just really like this time of year. So I'm trying not to repeat too terribly much, but in terms of things that I really enjoyed this month in particular, I got this NARS palette from Glambot. Glambot is actually a website where you like buy and sell gently used makeup. I again buy from them all the time. It was a limited edition palette, but the whole reason I wanted to show it to you guys is because of this blush right here, which is NARS Dolce Vita. I'm going to list this blush down below, though I did use the whole palette. I don't want to go too much into it because I know it was limited edition. I love Dolce Vita blush though, and I have been wearing it probably most days out of this month that I wore makeup. So as you can see, it's just a really nice dark plummy pink and I like it a lot for this time of year just because it is a little bit darker but it's still warm and it's still a neutral so I don't feel like it's too much. I also started using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly and this was the lightest shade that is offered. I've been using this to highlight my under eye area and on various places on my face. A few months ago I was a little bit scared of this and I think that the products I was using with it just weren't meshing well. This this goes best with a kind of like um, satin to matte finish foundation. I don't feel like you can wear this with a really like radiant or um, dewy foundation just because it is such a full coverage and it almost feels like glue on the face. So I feel like it works better when you are going for a matte finish when you can use a pretty decent like translucent powder to set it. It is a great concealer. This is a great shade for highlighting. I have been loving this lately and yeah this is my like winter shade. I tested out so many new products this month that I haven't even delivered reviews on so I don't want to talk too much in terms of eyeshadow palettes. Um, in terms of what I was using a lot of it was a palette that's not even available right now which sucks. So yeah I will talk a lot more this um, upcoming month about what I used last month because I did so many tutorials and reviews on the products I was using. Today for example I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette freaking love it, gonna go ahead and spoil that review. But I wound up getting these Lancome Drama Liquid Pencils. They sent me every single shade of these and I wound up really, really loving them. They are super creamy, they're just wooden pencils, but they almost feel like a gel liner. I will say that in terms of pigmentation, I feel like you have to work with them a baby bit, but they last and last and last and they don't feel like they tug at the eyes. They feel genuinely creamy when you put them on. This is in the shade French Lace and it's just a white shade and then the brown color that I just swatched is the shade, I'm so shaky from all the caffeine I can't even, the brown shade is Brulee. So I've really been liking these in every single color because Lancome was so kind. Lancome knows who I am. Can we like take a minute for that? That's so weird. But they have been sending me a lot of stuff here recently and I just really have enjoyed these eyeliners. I've been using them off camera all month. I also really enjoyed the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara which I went back to very recently. I'm wearing a few coats of it today. Just gonna say that. Um, I don't know, I have been kind of getting through my mascara stash because I feel like lately I've been using nothing but high-end mascaras and I used to love drugstore mascaras. This is just one of the best products on the market. I love this mascara and the wand on it is perfect. I feel like you get every single lash and you get it and make it like long and voluminous and black. And it's just a foolproof product. I personally have always loved this. I feel like you cannot go overboard with it either. Your lashes just always look wispy and like delicate and they never get clumpy. I finally restocked on my Red Cherry 43 lashes. These are my lashes. I rarely wear anything else but I was out for so freaking long. I tend to buy these on eBay from a very specific seller. 
Um, and I'm not going to recommend that seller because the last few times I bought from them, it has not been a good experience. But you can find the 43 lashes on eBay. The prices tend to fluctuate. Right now, for example, I feel like they're like $2 a pair no matter who you buy them from. And then sometimes they'll be a lot lower. So you can always search for the best deals and stuff. But regardless, they're just a really good pair of lashes. I really love them. I just, I don't know. I will never have enough of these lashes. They go with every makeup look in my opinion. They're voluminous and long without being over the top. I just feel like they add so much to the eyes without, I don't know, taking away from a look. And they also aren't too dramatic, which just makes me really happy. They're very easy to wear throughout the day. So I was off camera for a minute and realized I completely lied to you guys. I do actually have an eyeshadow favorite I do want to mention. This is the Morphe 35B palette. And this is just a really bright, colorful palette. I use in almost every single one of my Halloween makeup tutorials this year. This palette has every bright shade you could ever want. Plus you've got a nice dark black. Like you just have every shade you could need in terms of bright colored shadow in here. And I mean the pigmentation is just like, it's bananas. I don't know. I just feel like Morphe shadows are getting better and better and better with every single palette they put out. And I just can't get enough of these. Like this is insane to me, the pigmentation in this $20 barely makeup palette. In terms of lip colors, I did wear red lips a lot this month and I don't have a very specific red lipstick I turn to over and over and over again. Um, there were a couple, but I just feel like I was a little bit too all over the place to recommend one to you. However, I did use my MAC lip liner in the shade Cherry a lot because this is just a very true red color. And even if I do something like today where I did a slightly darker red, I can just go over it with that darker red and make it look a little bit more like seamless but this is just the perfect red lip pencil and whenever I use this the color never bleeds there is something magical about MAC lip liners and I spend the money because they're I'm telling you there is something magical they're just wooden lip liners but they are better than everything else on the market so I use cherry a lot and then a shade I think that I mentioned in that um, the fall makeup bag video, but I just want to mention it again, is Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick. I'm officially on the Dose of Colors bandwagon. I don't know what took me so long, but I saw that this shade came back in stock, and I just can't with this. It is a perfect kind of cooler tone mauve -y color that's a little bit like grayish in its undertones. It goes with everything. It does not move. That is my thing with these Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. They do not come off in chunks. They do not budge. They do, they just, they don't do anything. They just stay there and they look perfect. And that is what you want out of a liquid lipstick, right? So I love this. I am getting more colors of these, but right now Stone is my baby, especially for fall. 10 out of 10 would recommend. What is even on my finger? What is that? I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I am a huge fan of that. And that's actually my beauty favorite. So I do have a few kind of extra favorites to mention. Alrighty, so I did travel a ton this month, um, which means I enjoyed a lot of TV, I enjoyed a lot of music, and I did enjoy myself a little audiobookage. In terms of TV, I would like to formally retract everything I ever said negatively about the season of American Horror Story because as of season or as of episode four, it is picked up to the point where I cannot stop watching. Um, and I believe that's correct anyways. I just watched the newest episode where it kind of gives Liz Taylor's background. I love this show so much. I really feel like I kind of start off every single season of American Horror Story nowadays with like kind of a negative outlook where I'm like, this didn't, you know, impact me in the best way. And then it just gets so good and I'm so sucked in. I love it. This may be the best season they've ever put out. And I'm not like, I have so much trouble even saying that because I love the first season so much. But Lady Gaga is slaying my soul. Like she is incredible in this show. I love it so much. So I've really been enjoying it. But even more than that, my number one favorite right now is Scream Queens. That show is getting ridiculously, ridiculously good. I cannot stop watching it. I hate waiting every single week. I wish it was already out so I could binge watch it in its entirety. I love it so much. Um, and honestly, over the two, I think I'd pick Scream Queens right now. It might be one of my favorite shows of all time. It's just getting really freaking good. And that is my bestie, Michelle, texting about how we're going to send edible arrangements to our friends who are deployed right now. So if you're my friend and you are not in the United States, expect an edible arrangement very soon because I feel like that is the most random thing in the entire world. So music wise, I want to talk about a few songs I've really been loving. I'm just opening up my Spotify right now and I'm just going to name off some things. I'll list everything down below so you guys can just go give it a listen and I'll include YouTube links as well. 
My favorites this month were probably Shots, the Broiler remix by Imagine Dragons, Ghost Town by Adam Lambert, Hello by Adele, obviously, Jesus Christ, is anyone not listening to that song on repeat? One and Only by the band Teeter, <laughs> it's spelled T-E-I-T-U-R. So my friend and I, Michelle, we were in Tampa together and it was the night after Halloween, we were both hungover, we were both not feeling good, so we watched, actually no, it was the night before Halloween, so we had no excuse, but we were watching Aquamarine and that song plays in it and it's such a cute song and it just throws me back to my, I don't know, like middle school days. So yeah, I love that song, really old. I also have been loving The Whisperer featuring Sia by David Guetta. That is probably my favorite song of the entire month if you only have time to listen to one. The Whisperer is my favorite song of the moment. And I also really liked Focus by Ariana Grande. So those were kind of my favorite songs. And then in terms of audiobook, I'm listening to Binge by Tyler Oakley and I love it. Tyler Oakley is my queen. He slays my soul. I love him so much. I can't even. I loved him before the book, but honestly, like now that I'm listening to it, by the way, I think that it's really important to support YouTubers when they come out with projects if you really do enjoy them because I think it's really cool to show the world that like internet people can do cool things. Um, but I personally think that I prefer this in audiobook version. I also bought like a hard copy, like I bought a hardback version, but I think that Tyler's stories are just better told through his voice. I don't know if that makes any sense. I still recommend reading it because it's so good, but hearing his stories and his voice is genius. Like no one could have read this audiobook but him. So I love the book. It's a little, I don't know, you know, it's like an emotional roller coaster. He's hilarious. He makes me so happy, but also I just really like learning more about him. I really love when YouTubers put out books that are just honest and true. And he's just such a genuine person. And I love you, Tyler. I know you're not watching this, but I just love you. So yeah, that is my favorite audiobook of the month. And as always, if you guys do want a free audiobook, you can go to audibletrial.com slash and you can get yourself one for free. I'm recommending this month Tyler Oakley's Binge, but they do have well over 100,000 titles to choose from. So go get yourself some free stuff, girl. And I hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites video. I'm pretty hyper. I gotta go now. I need some food in my belly. It's been nothing but caffeine. And now just copious amounts of tea but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and yeah until next time I will see you very soon bye